Okay, so the other thing I want to show you is if uh, you have folks in your booth, and you can see now up here, it's got a two. So I actually have someone here in my booth with me, and they've decided they wanted to chat with me on video. Uh, they may actually be in the text chat over here. And so maybe this person says, you know, uh, go in here and say, hi, can I speak with you? Right, and, and then maybe you go back and say, oh, yes. Click ask to share. All right, and so, uh, oops, spell click wrong. Anyway, on their screen, they've got a button that says ask to share audio and video. They click on that button and it does that same thing. It asks which camera, so on and so forth. I'm gonna hit apply. And you can see on, uh, on my screen here now in the moderation panel, it's saying that Jeff Mao wants to, uh, wants to talk and wants to get onto video with us. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click on that and uh, and there we go. And so now you can see I'm up on the screen twice because I have my handy dandy separate computer with uh, me as an attendee, right? Along with my regular view, that's me. So normally this other person here that looks strikingly like me is my uh, participant who wanted to come and talk to me and ask me questions. Uh, but this way I can have this person and we can do a live Q and A. And remember whoever I'm talking with now is visible to anyone else who happens to be in booth. So if I had a third or fourth or fifth or 20 other people in the booth, all of them would be seeing the two of us and listening to the two of us have this conversation, which is beneficial because if they're asking questions that everybody else asks, then you get to answer it once and everyone hears the answer. Um, so it's not unlike being in a regular booth where oftentimes I've had this experience many times where I'm talking to an individual in a booth, answering questions about something, and there's a small halo of people standing behind them in a small semicircle. And then as soon as I'm done with that conversation, they all wander away, right? Uh, so again, just like that scenario where you're kind of thinking, well, I want to capture all these people, you may want to ask them, hey, guys, can you, you know, do me a favor and go to the booth section and click on this button, right, and so that they can share their email address with you so that you know who they were, uh, and they stop by, because in the meantime, they're getting the answers they wanted to get because you were talking to this one individual, and they were all just simply listening, right, and so I know it can be sometimes frustrating because you feel like all those people just left, and I didn't get to talk to them, but of course, they got the information they wanted, and hopefully some of them will come back to me. And oftentimes, as you know, in the booth, they kind of reach around you and grab some tchotchkes off the table, grab your card, whatever, but you never had a chance to talk to them because you were busy talking to this one person. So you can have the same kind of experiences here. Of course, you may end up having two or three or four or five people in the booth at the same time. Take the time to ask them to, you know, to, to click that button there on the side, which is the same thing as saying, hey, can I scan your badge? Um, and, uh, and otherwise you can keep talking to this one person. You know, for those of you who will have a, uh, a peer with you from your company, one person may want to try and engage with folks in the chat box, you know, over here in the chat and talk to the folks while you're talking to this one person individually. If you have questions, jeff at vitalearn.org. Thanks.